It's you and me. Kepler minus 442b. What does it take for an alien exoplanet to host life as we know it? A lot, as it turns out. Despite a paper last year claiming that there may be 300 million planets in our galaxy that are potentially habitable, new research published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society confounds that view, suggesting that Earth-like conditions on potentially habitable planets may be much rarer than previously thought. This new analysis of known exoplanets focuses on photosynthesis, 4,422 exoplanets have been discovered thus far by astronomers, but only a handful are considered to be potentially habitable. Photosynthesis is how plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to create oxygen and energy. Given that photosynthesis has been critical in enabling complex biospheres of the type found on Earth, for an exoplanet to be potentially habitable therefore means it would develop an oxygen-based atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, due to launch later this year, will be able to study the atmospheres of exoplanets as they transit their stars. The light coming through their atmospheres will reveal what gases they contain. However, photosynthesis requires liquid water. Only exoplanets that are the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold, could host such a thing on their surface. So how many rocky, Earth-sized exoplanets are in this so-called Goldilocks zone? Not many, suggests this research. In fact, even in the handful of rocky and potentially habitable exoplanets known none have the theoretical conditions to sustain an Earth-like biosphere powered by photosynthesis. It's not all bad news. The study, which studied the amount of radiation, sunshine, each promising exoplanet receives from its star, reveals one planet that comes close to receiving enough sunshine to sustain a large biosphere that could be detected by JWST, Kepler-442b. A rocky planet about twice the mass of the Earth, Kepler-443b orbits a moderately hot orange dwarf star around 1,120 light-years away in the constellation of Lyra. Its existence was announced in 2015 having been discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope transiting its parent star. The telescope stopped working in 2018. Also called Koi 4742.01, this exoplanet is about half the distance from its star that the Earth is from the Sun. It takes 112 days the orbit Kepler 443. However, it's a super-Earth which despite the name aren't exactly Earth-like. The study concludes that stars around half the temperature of our Sun cannot sustain Earth-like biospheres because they do not provide enough energy in the correct wavelength range. That doesn't mean that photosynthesis would be possible, but there wouldn't be enough plant life on the planet to sustain an Earth-like biosphere.